deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah to the show welcome everyone to pxt uh we we ooh, today was starting interesting today <laughs> reason i say that is because two weeks ago jake lawler yes jake lawler the man that uh went against c jill in the main event of pxt only lasting five minutes against the PXT YouTube champion uh, is back here this week on PXT and uh, he was claiming that next week I don't know why he didn't demand it this week but he was saying next week he demanded a title match against C. Jill because he did win the title opportunity so he should be going against C. Jill we agreed with him we did we honestly agree with him we said that's possibly a good idea so let's go ahead and do that next week so next week is actually going to be a double title match feature and it will be the pxc title and the, <laughs> the pxc championship getting defended and the pxc youtube title getting defended next week's going to be fucking crazy <laughs> we just approved that gen x came in walking in claiming but Gen X pretty much came in saying, you really want to go back to that hell? The man demolished you. You really think you have a chance? Jake Lawler didn't take kindly to these words, by the way. Because he even said, too, well, there's a difference between someone like me and someone like you. Me, I took down our former GOAT of PXC. You, it took you an entire month to get your first win. Gen X also did not like these and uh, actually hit Jake in the face. Uh, we quickly... We quickly stopped them from getting too excessive, and now tonight it is actually going to be Jake Lawler and Gen X starting off PXC here tonight. He almost showed no. Jake Lawler literally showed no offense against CGL two weeks ago on PXC. And the question is, how much does that drop your like momentum? Not only will you claim to be number one contender and also possibly give the champion and like a challenge to where even the champion was saying that you're gonna give me a challenge just to fucking drop it, you know? Like that's that's something that I ah uh, oh man, I, I really wish I had words for this. I really don't even know what to say, except that can Jake actually come back, get some momentum for his title match next week? He was the god, but now he's the peasant of PXC. Yeah, at, at this point, yeah. He got he got humbled. C2 made it fucking humble. I'm not even gonna lie on that. Because holy hell. I believe for like actual matches in PXT, I literally believe that is our quickest match in PXT history. I am not even kidding, y'all. <laughs> the match was uh the match was literally I believe four minutes and 50 seconds that's how long that match was and finding that out i mean can you just imagine the morale just you know <laughs> gen x looking to probably also humble jake as well Gen X uh, did come up short last week against Justin, uh, honestly giving Justin his actual first one-on-one -on -one victory. Off topic, but I carried y'all in Overwatch. Absolute joke, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> What's funny is that uh, on that same episode i don't know if it caught it because i did i was looking back on the live stream and it was cutting a little bit here and there um i don't know if it caught what happened but uh, our buddy we were with <laughs> we stole his player of the game not once but twice back to back <laughs> it was beautiful there we go starting off pxc tonight gen x and jake lawler gen x coming in with big strikes of his own oh Man, Gen X, are, uh, Gen X are already coming off pretty aggressive as it is. Darty now targeting the arm. And now the thing is that I'm questioning, it, did, is Gen X using this just to claim another victory or is he using it to probably put his name in 
possibly the drawing. I don't know why he keeps thinking it's a drawing that's happening at Abyss, even though it's not. He's thinking it's a drawing type thing. He's thinking we're lying about the randomness. But he's thinking maybe he can get a title shot, even though we just announced... <laughs> We just announced recently, <laughs> but he, in, in his in his whole head, he's thinking there's a lot of deception. So maybe he's thinking if he could beat Jake Lawler, he could probably prove, hey, I'm here. I'm a name. <laughs> oh my God, Jake is. This is just Gen X all, not Gen X, this is just C. Jill all over again. Gen X is coming in with all offense. Jake's not coming in with anything. There it is, dodging. <laughs> the elbow from the top rope, and now Lawler coming in with some offense. Oh! The exploded suplex there. Oh, was going for a big kick, but quickly gets dodged, and now gets caught in a twisting neck breaker. Oh, Genix. Oh! Dropping him knee first on his gut. Gen man, Genix is. Oh, oh, oh. I think Genix is probably setting up for next gen, but Lawler quickly getting out of it. Genix quickly rolling out, but Lawler's not gonna give him a moment and catches him into a DDT onto the outside. Now Lawler looking to looking to probably just get himself back out there, you know, just get himself back into the hole idea of like wrestling again because so far pxc or not pxc but so far lawler he just has not been doing exceptionally well ever since hellfire happened he, he's just been sort of dropping off if you will now gen x taking control and tosses lawler pretty good distance and i believe he did that to restart the count i think gen x wants to just play with lawler at this point which honestly that's what's happening right now Gen X is just toying with Lawler. I, I think Lawler is just completely out of morale here. I don't. I honestly don't know. Ooh, it's the suplex on the outside, and Gen X displaying great strength. Want to point out as well. Ooh, I'm on the steel barricade. But look at this, Lawler looking to come back. Ooh. I don't I honestly don't know what he hit, but it, it worked. Count of six. Lawler gets back in. Gen X also getting in. Lawler thinking <laughs> Lawler was just telling him to praise him, but gets caught into the bicycle kick. His padded bicycle kick is that enough to take Lawler down? No. He got caught into the big bicycle kick from Gen X. Gen X has knocked out people with that kick in uh, mixed mark or UFC, in other words. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Next gen onto Jake Lawler. Is that enough? Is Gen X gonna pull off the win here against Jake Lawler? No. Jake Lawler kicks out. And believe it or not, the crowd is actually saying fight forever. They're actually getting behind the match, believe it or not. Even though it's been purely once. Oh! Big knee shot! Now the question is, can he take advantage like what he failed to do two weeks ago against C. Jill? That's the question. Ooh, attacking the arm there. Jake may be out of it. He can... S but he can still kick out. That's true, honestly. He, he's still showing some fight, which is good. But the thing is, can he actually, like overcome this i guess lack of momentum in other words like holy hell he got squashed he's been claiming that he is the self-proclaimed god of pxt and he got squashed by the white viper rush up here it is godly law from jake lawler is that enough to put gen x down one two no gen x is still going It is so Jake getting Genix into a suplex just trying to deal a little bit of damage to him but also setting the pace pretty calm probably just a oh look at this coming in with a series of strikes and another big knee to the face this could be Lawler's rally right here this could be him rallying oh and goes in with the 
Death drop? I don't know what to call this. <laughs> I can't watch the godly law after what happened during Shane Bone and Jake Man. Oh, I know. <laughs> I fully understand what you mean. Oh, I think he's gonna go for it. Oh! God's judgment! Oh, and again, just... Man, he is really damaging the head! Oh, Genix with knee shot at the knee shot! <laughs> is this it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's going in. He is... He is just embarrassing the former UFC champion, I want to point out here. <laughs> He's... Genix is a former mixed martial arts champion in the UFC, and he just... Fucking Lawler was embarrassing him by showing him his own set of strikes. Oh, beautiful. We may have new corners, but Shane, Jake, and Bone will always have the three O. Will always be the three OGs. That's true. I will admit to that. They will always be the three OGs. Oh, Gen X. Okay, we, I thought he was going to go for next gen there. Right now, Genix is taking back control. He probably didn't like the display that Lawler was doing there. Oh! Big kick to the chest. Is that enough? Did that knock the wind out of Jake Lawler? No! Lawler is still going. Somehow, Lawler is still going. I got to commend the man. He, he somehow, he's still... Oh. Here it is. Next gen! That has to be it. I think Lawler is just completely out at this point. And with that... Yeah. Damn. Honestly, got to commend Jake Lawler on trying to come back at it, but even with that said, he, he just couldn't. And with that, Gen X picks up a win here tonight. How, how in the hell is Lawler gonna freaking like fight next week for the PXT YouTube Championship against CGO? Because for people who don't know, uh, if you guys are coming in last minute or coming in just in general, uh, our PXT YouTube Champion is CGO, the White Viper of Russia. Um, I'll admit one thing, he is one of my creative wrestlers, but somehow he is a monster. I don't know what the fuck I did to him, but he is an absolute monster because in the whole couple, <laughs> the whole like, I guess now three months of doing PXT, he has literally, and I mean this, not gotten pinned in PXT. Forget the White Viper, he's the super soldier of Russia at... But practically, <laughs> he is practically like uh, Captain America's super soldier, if you will. But holy fuck, dude, it is insane watching that man in action. And that's why next week's PXC, he will be defending his PXC YouTube championship against Jake Lawler because Jake Lawler did win the title opportunity. So on to the next match. So last week, the team of Jake, Jack Flo and Shane Henry went against the Syndicate because pretty much Satoshi wanted to actually recruit them and J Jack didn't, didn't, doesn't really like the idea but this uh, before we started today's show apparently in the back Satoshi and Shane were talking a little bit and Jack caught or caught like a glimpse of them talking Satoshi bailed out and Jack did. Jack just didn't like it. Jack did not like that Satoshi was conversing, if you will. So because of that, he demanded a match with Satoshi tonight, and Satoshi 100% agreed. So tonight, it is going to be Jack Flo against Satoshi Makoto. Next match, a PXT. Oh man, I didn't change the entrances from uh, from the uploads. So I do want to point out he's not gonna have his uh, normal entrance we've been seeing. Jack Flo coming in now. Also want to point out if you guys are actually interested in doing something like this, making like their own attires for Halloween or seasonal events, you guys can do that. Now I am talking to the people that do have their characters in PXC. If you guys want to do that, you guys can. 100% fine by me. Just let me know. We'll see what we can do, especially if the movesets are changed in any way, shape or form. But tonight, Jack Flo 
representing uh, the Joker, if you will. Uh, probably one of his favorite in the DC comics. Don't won't lie, he does look like Jer <laughs> He looks like the bad Joker. <laughs> hey, look, let's be for real. <laughs> Jared Leto was not a good Joker. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I didn't see where the hell we're at tonight for PXC, but maybe we're in Satoshi's hometown. I'm actually hearing a lot of cheers. What the fuck? It's talking towards me because I'm the tweaker. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Satoshi coming in and surprisingly with a st not standing ovation, but an ovation from the crowd. The crowd actually seems to be behind Satoshi, which is strange. Are we in Satoshi's hometown? What the hell? Are we in Japan? Are we actually in Japan? I'm actually confused right now. <laughs> I do want to point out, I don't believe we've seen a Satoshi 101 match in actually a while. I know we've been seeing a lot of tag team matches from him. Oh, it looks like Satoshi's... Satoshi's thinking this is going to be an easy match, not even taking off the shirt here. Oh! But Flo showing him this isn't going to be as easy as he thinks. Oh, ooh! Big forearm to the corner. Also, the characters of my guys are Red Hood, Joker, and Bane. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I saw them uh, recently. I thought the Bane one looked cool. Satoshi taking control of the match, setting the pace for the match. Misses the belly, the belly dive. Man, I look like Flo was trying to get the advantage there, but Satoshi's just taking. Ooh. Just taking the opportunities from when Jack is open and go try what goes for another senton. Jack quickly gets the knees up. Gotcha them into a DDT. I said that because not everyone knows Red Hood. No, I gotcha. Actually, yeah, I'm surprised not a lot of people know Red Hood. Oh! Satoshi catching Jack into a neck breaker. Look at this right now. Satoshi is just full on controlling Jack. Jack's actually been building a lot of momentum recently, though he did lose his debut match against the Lumberjack. Uh, he has been building a good, like, set of momentum, if you will. Oh, I, I, look, I, uh, his ass was so strong that it, uh, it hurt Jack. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> Oh, look at this, gets caught into a suplex into a bridge! Only gets a one count, though. Oh, look at this, oh, 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 catches Satoshi, and oh, drops it there, and another bridge into a pin! Satoshi still kicks out at one. Man, Jack's really going. Oh, Jack gets caught, Jack gets caught in the spin, and gets caught with a kick. Is that enough to put Jack down? One, two, no. Satoshi thinking that was possibly it. That was enough, but doesn't look like it. Jack, move your hand in that pin. <laughs> oh, look at this. Jack Polly looking to go. High flying and catches Satoshi onto the outside. Oh, but Satoshi quickly gets up. Yeah, it looks like Jack, I guess, hasn't done a lot of damage to Satoshi at all. Who kicks Satoshi away right now? Jack looking to possibly... Oh! I don't, I don't know what Jack was probably setting up, but he got caught into a big boo, and now Satoshi is just taking advantage of the entire match. Got to... Oh! Now getting caught in punches to the gut. Jack now looking to get the advantage, take control. Got him with a twisting neck breaker. Alright, send Satoshi back in at the count of eight, looking to finish the match in the ring. Oh, look at this! Looking to punish the crime boss of PXC here! 
Not enough to make the man tap, but looking looking to probably go for the pin. See, maybe if he won down the... Satoshi's just kicking out at once. What is he, Brock Lesnar? What the fuck? <laughs> Satoshi is just kicking out at once. I guess... I guess anything Jack's doing just isn't enough. Oh, God, and look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Show of disrespect from Satoshi. Oh, and again, catches him with the spit. And again, with a punt. One, two, no. Stop. I'll admit this, Satoshi is at least getting the ball. Oh, gets kind of sent on. Oh, let's try and go for another one again. Jack realizing that he loves going for those sentons. And again goes over for a DDT. Now Jack looking to gain the advantage. Get back in the match. Getting him up and now. Oh! Oh! Misses that. Spinning heel kick, but Satoshi now takes advantage. Satoshi going for the elbow to the back of Jack. Oh, it looks like Satoshi's just trying, thinking that he's gonna get super. Oh no, no, he's he's stalking his prey for this and gets him with a missile drop kick from the top. Satoshi looking to. Do some damage, but Jack's not gonna allow it. Jack tripping the crime boss. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack's gonna go for flow of motion. Jack made a tap out to this move. Will we see the crime boss tap out here tonight? No. Satoshi gets out of it. Shane looks pissed. He actually does. <laughs> Now the question is, is he getting pissed because Jack's getting taken advantage of or he's getting pissed because Satoshi's getting his ass handed to him? That's the question here tonight. Oh, what's Jack going for? Oh! This is highway to flow! It is for the pin! One! Two! No! Only gets... Oh, Satoshi just gets up the 1%. Gotcha. No, Jack going under. Oh, oh, missing the sequence there, I believe. I'm not sure what happened there. Satoshi getting Jack in the corner and hits him with a big forearm. No way, yours is better. Gotcha. Oh, and again, Satoshi. This is the third spin he's done. And again, hits another punt to the face. Satoshi looking to pin Jack for oh, Jack is Jack's just not giving up here tonight. Holy shit. Jack's not giving up here tonight. Oh, what's this? What is Satoshi going for here? Oh, big kick to the side of the temple of his head. Jack, though, being relentless if you will. Oh, look at this. Oh, 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 what's this? Oh, Jack's going for a submission hold right there. Looking to twist the ankle of Satoshi. Oh, my God, what's going to happen here? Are we going to see the crime boss tap out? No, the crime boss actually kicks Jack in the face to get out of the maneuver. Oh, is Jack looking for another flawed motion? Here it is. Again, looking to make the crime boss tap. That the crime boss taps out here tonight. <laughs> Leg breaker. Oh. Hey man, it looked like he was twisting his ankle. Jack Flo has made the crime boss of PXC tap out here tonight. <laughs> and with this, again, I want to point out Jack is going on a win streak right now. Holy shit. All right, well, on to our next match. Congratulations to Jack, by the way. Congratulations, Jack Flo, on his victory against Satoshi Makoto. But now the question is, where, where's Shane's... Uh, I can't say loyalties, but where, where's Shane gonna go? But on with our next match of the night. Justin, last week, has been trying to look for answers on the whereabouts of his brother, Devil. Uh, so far, really hasn't been going anywhere, but he believes the next person that would know would be the only person that has the lantern of the devil, if you will. So, Justin tried to confront Desmond Flood, if you will. 
Justin. Justin believes that Desmond has some info, possibly, since he has the Lantern of the Devil. So because of this, he has not actually fucking got a hold of him at all. So he asked us to put him and Desmond into a match tonight to at least figure something out. So tonight, it is actually going to be Justin versus Desmond Flood. So, here's the thing. I do got to agree with Justin. That maybe there is some connection. Maybe there's a connection on why. Why. Desmond has the lantern. You know? Because, like, it's just a strange thing to where, like, for the past two months we've been seeing Devil. He's had the lantern. We've been calling Well, not we've been calling it, but apparently to Justin, it's known as Devil's Lantern. Birds one, and I'm watching PXC. Yeah! <laughs> Oh yeah, the Eagles won. I don't even know who they went against this week. So Justin looking to gain some answers here tonight on the whereabouts of Devil. Did Desmond Flood have something to do with the disappearance? Oh, they went against the Rams? Gotcha. How close was it? Was it a close game or was it like... Eh. <laughs> Was it a shutout? Dustin, I don't know, Dustin looks ready, but at the same time, he looks... I don't know, I don't know what to say. Close, but also, eh, gotcha. Now, here's the thing. Justin has gone against Giants in WWE. The thing is, Desmond is more than just a Giant. He's, uh, <laughs> he's something. The mystic door, if you will. The door of paradox, if you will, because out of nowhere, right now it's fine, then it's out of nowhere, there's, there's smoke. It looks like Desmond made an impact last week because the crowd is actually behind him, believe it or not. When the door opened, out of nowhere, just roaming cheers. Slide a quick smoke. <laughs> That's what the smoke shit. And just like that, Desmond Flood coming in a PXC. Maybe the door resembles his dimension, if you will. Because Justin said that he wasn't able to find Desmond anywhere in the back. Heck, we didn't even know Desmond was here today until we issued the match. And out of nowhere, boom, he just pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> I know I said out of nowhere, but twice there, but point is the man is like, I guess otherworldly. I don't know, because holy shit, he does shit that <laughs> I don't picture the man of his stature, his size doing. He's like a Keith Lee, but even crazier. Thing is, with that said, with that said, yeah, Taco Bell, and or what? <laughs> Goddamn little heart thing. I hate this little button they have here, and I can't read the chat completely because it gets in the way of the fucking chat. He was home shitting for like ten hours. That's that's where Devil's been. <laughs> no, I, I know I know what you were talking about, but that would have been funny if that's Devil's whereabouts. You gotta admit though, Desmond does bring an atmosphere, if you will, to PXC.
Crowd scene behind him. Uh, question is, uh, can Justin pull off another one-on-one -on -one victory here tonight? Especially against someone like Desmond. Always trying to go for probably a wheelbarrow, but quickly gets caught. And Desmond taking advantage and now getting Justin quickly into a submission hold. Justin knows how to get out of it, though. Quickly getting out. Oh, Justin coming in with a big shot to the chest of Desmond. Oh, I think the ref, I think the ref got in the way, but now Desmond coming in with a big, ooh, comes in with a big drop kick, and now a, I guess, reversed elbow. I really don't even know what the fuck that was. Had five chicken chalupas, and Devil was blowing up the toilet for two weeks. I knew it. <laughs> oh, look at this. And on his little late gray, Eddie Guerrero, the three amigos! Justin now looking to get the advantage here on Desmond. Oh, Desmond. Quickly switching it up, now getting the advantage. Oh no, was trying to get the advantage, but Justin quickly coming back and now hits a springboard crossbody. Goes with a pin, is it enough to put Desmond down? No. Honestly, not even gonna lie, I'm actually impressed Justin's actually controlling the match. From the, from the display that Desmond showed last week, he showed dominating force, but surprisingly, oh, against Justin, Justin is actually Really controlling the outcome of the match. Maybe Justin's technically a giant slayer. Maybe maybe that's what it is. <laughs> also, do you name the TKO Highway to Flow because Chains Highway to f the Hell? Oh, wait, did I? I know we were talking about one called like Highway to Flow. I think didn't we? I think we were talking about that. Because I was like, highway to flow! It does sound cool, though. Oh, look at the Oh! That was a doomsday kick! And right now, oh, there it is. Now Desmond's coming back at it. Desmond looking to punish Justin for the early onslaught. Great question. <laughs> oh! Drops him with the snake eyes in the corner, but Justin quickly getting out of it. Justin field right now with wanting to know what happened to his brother. And, oh, God damn, okay, Desmond just keeps trying to get Justin in the corner, but Justin's not going to have it. I'm actually impressed. Justin's doing a fantastic job on just manhandling Desmond, if you will. Oh, oh, I think he was trying to go for uh, the big clothesline. Oh, John the deep. He calls the drown in the deep. Is it another put Justin down? No, Justin kicks out. Yes. Oh, no, gets caught in the big. He calls it the big flood. Is it enough to put Justin away? No, Justin is still going. He got caught into. He got caught in. Oh, God damn it. It's hard saying the other word with the sentence. He got caught with the big flood and into the deep. But Justin's still kicking out. Oh, look at this. Oh, another big move there. Right now, Flood is again just now playing with Justin, but Justin coming back has it. And drops him down with a drop kick. Oh, I think Justin was trying to go for some more springboard offense, but quickly gets stopped. Also, I want to apologize if you guys do hear some extra noise in the background of my audio. It is because my nieces and nephews are still here and my nephew is playing with the door. So heads up there if y'all do hear this. Desmond now again just taking pure control of the match now. Desmond now going to the top rope. Desmond going in for... Oh! I, I don't even know what the hell that was. Falcon Arrow, I guess? Was that technically a Falcon Arrow? I do gotta get props. Desmond is literally doing... God, it's just everything's a twist, if you will. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that was, but... 
Oh, it's going for a big clothesline. Quickly gets dodged, if you will. He has been throwing Justin to the ropes. Oh, but Justin quickly reversing the move. With his 450 or 630. Yeah. Could have been the, like the Lumberjack on his debut. True. Justin now attacking the arm. Looks like Justin... Oh, Justin's actually... You know, not even gonna lie. I'm actually impressed. Justin's doing it, like super well against Desmond, if you will. Oh, drops it down with a drop kick. Now, the question is, when are we going to see the corkscrew sent on from Justin? Oh, look at this. Getting him in the corner. And now, oh, dropping him down. Oh, Desmond. Get into the apron. Justin, waiting to probably set him up, but no, Desmond kicks Justin and straight up in the face before he can get an advantage, and now, oh! My God, honestly, it is insane the stuff we are seeing from Desmond at this point. Big suplex from Desmond to Justin! And now coming in with a big onslaught to the face. Desmond has full control of the match now. The question is... Is it is he does he have what it takes to put Justin down? I think the name Desmond now reminds me of Desmond Benjamin. I actually don't even know who that is. Justin's trying to get pumped up by the crowd, but Desmond's not gonna allow it. I keep on thinking Assassin's Creed, not gonna lie. I keep thinking Desmond Miles. Then looking to get him up. Oh, drops him. Just straight down in general. Now Desmond looking to go to the top. He was trying to go for Sonny, but oh, another. Man, dude, this guy's just like everywhere. It is hard to call the moves Desmond does because he always does like a weird, like he goes through a clothesline, but then he does a weird back elbow. And then, excuse me, okay, just across the entire ring with an elbow dropped in the chest of Justin. My God. Desmond looking to put down. Justin wants to put it all, but Justin dodging the big flood. Justin now attacking the back of Desmond. Do we all get him with a drive by drop kick? Oh, but still gets caught into the deep. Well, the big flood, sorry. And with that, Desmond Flood dominates Justin. Yes, take that as you will. I need another pen. This pen's terrible. <laughs> Desmond Flood picking up another victory here tonight against the legendary high flyer Justin. But now is actually the time for the newest signees of PXC. That's right, all three men coming in to PXC in a triple threat match. Now, I'm gonna explain how we're gonna do this because this is actually, we're workshopping this idea. So what we're gonna do is actually, the first man to get the pin will be placed. And next week, the other two will be going against each other and then they will be placed. Right now, I think that's what we're gonna do with the newest signees of PXT! Introducing first, Drew Jeffrey! The Golden Dragon or correction, sorry, we read that wrong. The Dashing Dragon! He has gone here, there, showing his charm to the ladies, but he's not just all charm. He is one of, if not the most exceptional fighters in PXT now. In PXT. <laughs> but he's one of the most exceptional fighters from around the world. He's trained in the temples. A bangish! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that's a real place. Go with it! <laughs>
who definitely looking to make a name for himself here and looking to be the first ever person to be placed in PXT. Now, I will admit, we did see what he has in store. We saw them in training in the Holy Mother. He's my golden boy, though. We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Those like Drew Jeffrey already got the fan, but now we have... The likes of Jacob... T Wildfire. Not gonna lie, we're just gonna call him Jacob Wildfire. The T just sounds weird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Cause we don't know what the T stands for. <laughs> we weren't informed what the T stands for, so that's up. Like Ryan Reynolds, he's a freebie. Exactly. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jacob T Wildfire. Before we saw his actual tryout for PXT. All we knew is that he was somewhat of an entity in the forest. They said he was born in the flames of one of the biggest wildfires in the U.S. history. I will say this though. Breaking fourth wall. He makes he makes the like Uncle Howdy entrance look really fucking good, not gonna lie. More demonic than flow in those two staring contests. True oh see that'd be a pretty cool thing. Jacob T. Wildfire looking to make an impact here. And I wanna point out, though he doesn't look like it, he is actually he's probably just as tall as Desmond Flood. He is a, he is a giant as well. But now, with that said, comes uh, comes even not gonna lie, are a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping like the mask is gonna stay on and stuff like that, but that wasn't what happened. But now introducing the third man into the match, Rocky. Mer God damn, I've been fucking up this last name. Not gonna lie, Mercado, Mercado, Mercado. We're going Mercado. The man that was inspired by Latino heat. He believes in the philosophy of lie, cheat, and steal. That when he was a child, he was inspired by Eddie Guerrero, and he inspires his whole move set, his whole upbringing, and everything. His whole style of wrestling is him honoring the great Latino Heat. But with that said, can he, can he, put away? these two men and be one of the first few to be placed first it is drew jeffrey jacob t wildfire and rocky mccallow here tonight who's gonna win and make a new character it will be a luchador ah that'd be pretty sick oh look at that. Oh, oh what the oh my god jacob just took out both men with one move what the fuck <laughs> Jacob already displaying big power here tonight. Zen's drew to the corner, but quickly just throws Rocky to the ground. My God, Wildfire already showing great display of power with a big power bomb to Rocky, but Drew catches him with a drop kick. I think Drew and I think Drew and Rocky are gonna have no choice but to double team Jacob. Forget it, I will eventually. Gotcha. <laughs> Right now it's Drew and Jeffrey and Drew looking to take advantage, tossing Rocky away, and now Jacob's taking more advantage. Is he? Did he just fold Rocky? And just kid him up his ass. Okay, that works. Drew doesn't like that. Drew believes in being the dashing, as he is the dashing dragon. Now take it on the wildfire, if you will. Drew to the top. Rocky all oh, goes in with a big elbow drop. Oh, look at this. Stops the kendo attack. Drew now coming in. 
Tossing Rocky to the ropes. Goes under. Oh, gets him with a bridge into a pin. Is it enough? No. Now, I do want to also point out that Drew was one of the ones that I did say um, I actually do love. Like, I do like it, the way his character looks and everything. I think it looks phenomenal. I was going to say same thing with Jacob. It's just Jacob sort of looks not what his entrance looks like. I guess you would. <laughs> I guess you'd say. I don't know. I was hoping that his entrance was. Uh, I don't know. I was hoping more. <laughs> Oh, that's him in a submission hold. Rocky somehow getting the giant up. Oh, man, Drew is practically almost, if not deadly, with those suplexes. But now Drew has the candlestick. What's the dashing dragon looking to do here? Oh, hits him into the face. But Rocky, not appreciated, gets Drew into the gut. Oh, oh, oh but Jacob going back at it. Jacob now sending him into suplex maneuver. Oh, big display of power. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think Jacob like Drew just standing there, tommy away, gets him in a snap suplex. Rocky getting Jacob back in. Oh, there it is, Jacob. Jacob looking to probably fight a man in more his size, if you will. And oh, gets him in a neck breaker, a lifting neck breaker. I guess a lifting neck breaker, if you will. Rocky throwing Drew back into the ring. Oh, Jacob actually tossing Rocky away from the ring. Looking to just do some damage. Oh, there it is. Now here's a big shot. Oh, look at this. Oh, big kendo shot there. Oh, another. Now Rocky was looking just to go crazy with us with the kendo stick. Man, Drew. Drew's actually. I don't know. I can't really say who has like the pure advantage. I want to say maybe Jacob because Jacob has done a little bit more to both men compared to the others. He hits him with a drop kick. Doesn't even get dropped, I want to point out. Oh! Those are still taps. Drew now throwing Rocky back into the middle of the ring, but it's setting his sights on Wildfire. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this! Drew just coming in with a beer... Pure offense to him, trying to get the man down. Dashing Dragon. Oh, I think he was trying to go in for a shot. Rocky, I think, was blocking it, if you will. I will get props. It looks like the Dashing Dragon has a little bit more Excel when it comes to, like, actual holds and stuff, if you will. Because he's dropped both men, and then... Oh, look at that belly-to-belly -belly suplex right there from Drew to Rocky. Oh, look at this. Rocky getting Drew up. He's getting about four suplex, but quickly gets... Oh, reversed into a jumping neck breaker. Oh, there's Drew now coming up with a snap suplex to Rocky. Wildfire is just watching on the outside, just letting the two men hurt the living share of each other. But Drew's not going to even have it. The Dashing Dragon going for the Wildfire. And oh, send Rocky to the ropes and quickly catches him into a bridging suplex. But Wildfire was up to stop it. And now, right now, the whole match is looking like Drew is just taking control of both men in the match. Oh, but Rocky quickly, quickly stopping. Say, I love his move sets. I love him in different ways. Gotcha. <laughs> He's the dashing dragon for a reason. No one can escape his charm. Oh, gets him in a Northern Light suplex right now again. Drew, Drew is doing exceptionally well on go oh, controlling the match, but Rocky looking to take control and a little bit of disrespect again back to back. Oh wow! Oh wow! Both men going for jumping time moves. Quickly catch them in a snap DDT. Drew and Rocky looking to just go into a fist of cuts, if you will. Tosses Rocky across the ring, and right now it's just Rocky. Correction, it's Drew and Jacob. Rocky on the outside. Jacob and Drew are the only two in the ring, and oh! Gets kind of pump handle, powerbomb. Is that enough to put Drew away? No! 
Drew kicks out. Again, Dashing Dragon. I'm not gay, but if you want 20 bucks, it's 20. <laughs> Oh, look at that, another goddamn dude. Should we just, man, he's the, like, dashing dragon, but holy shit, he's, like, suplex city central. We've been seeing northern suplex, catching suplexes, bridging suplexes. It's insane. The man just knows when to go. Oh, my look at this, Rocky now catching Drew with a candlestick. Look at him just trying to stop the momentum of the dashing dragon. My god, just... Oh, Drew just had enough! Drew had enough of the kendo stick abuse! Oh! Hits Rocky on the back, but quickly gets caught a clothesline from Jacob. Jacob being tossed back in the ring. Rocky getting the kendo. Oh, look at this. Goes in the ring. Oh, Rocky catching Jacob with it. Look, somehow Jacob is still standing, and Rocky now showing pure resolve. Also want to point out something that... Rocky Mercado is actually the first cruiserweight in PXT history! Oh, Drew. Drew was just stalking Mercado there. Right now, the Dashing Dragon has Drew set up and now attacks the arm. But like I was saying, that Rocky is our first ever cruiserweight in PXT. Rocky scares me with a lie, cheat, and steal. I'm okay, getting flashbacks to the end of Shane, Jack, and Bo. <laughs> I hear you on that. Oh, look at this! Hits him with the sharpshooter! Oh, but it looked like Rocky got out of it. I don't know if Jacob saved it or if Rocky... Power now! He gets, man, gets thrown, if you will. Oh, look at this. I think Drew... Uh, the, the, the ref, the refs just got caught. <laughs> the refs trapped. <laughs> oh, catching Rocky! One, two, no! I, I don't know what happened there. I don't know if Rocky kicked out or if Jacob actually stopped the pin. It looked like he stopped it. I think Jacob's just looking for pure destruction at this point. Oh, holy shit, he just broke the candlestick on the head of, J of Rocky. Rocky's still going, though. Rocky's still going, getting Drew up and dropping him with a power bomb. I think Jacob is realizing that Rocky has been taking more damage than anybody in this match. Oh, but look at this, Rocky quickly rolling out. Now the action's happening on the outside. Oh, look at that. Oh, good maneuver. And it reverses it into an inverted DDT. Rocky is now standing, but Jacob quickly getting up. Rocky sending Jacob in the ring. Drew coming in with still steps. Now attacking, but Jacob on the outside behind Drew. And now gets him up and looks like he's going to set up for another pump handle. Power bomb. Man, right now, Rocky, I think now they're trying to just keep Drew down. I think they realized that Drew was doing a lot at the beginning of the match. And, oh, look at that. See, because immediately, immediately goes to Drew and tries dropping him down. Just so then the other two can focus on each other. Like I said, Rocky has been taking a lot of damage. And I mean this. He has been taking a lot of damage. But you got to give, you got to commend the man. Oh, shit, my remote died. <laughs> <laughs> the match is so good. I forgot that the remote was involved in this. <laughs> uh, you gotta commend Rocky, though. Rocky is, like, actually fighting his ass off right now. He's taking a lot of damage. Right now, all three men are, re are really doing good here tonight. <laughs> oh, look at this. Drew being hung over on the barricade and gets hit with a big boot to the face. Oh, look at that. This is why you don't taunt behind your opponent, especially if your opponent's wildfire, because he is not going to take it kindly. Then you realize Drew's a little out of it, looks to put his attention back on Rocky. Jacob just throwing Rocky to that side barricade again, or corner barricade, if you will. Drew sending, <laughs> sending the giant across the way. They are. I would like to have the match in those clips.
Oh, take that clips ready. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I emailed them to you a while back. I think. Unless I sent it to the wrong one. Pretty sure I sent it to the right one. I think. Got it, yeah. Alright, there it is. It's been the pin, but Rocky was quick on catching it and stopping it. Drew's not looking happy. Mikado now fighting back, looking to possibly shut out the dashing dragon. Honestly, I guess the best thing I could probably say, like what Drew sort of reminds me of, he sort of reminds me of like a wrestling Johnny Cage, if you will. Oh, catches him with a big... Needed the back. Oh, look at this! Drops it down! Oh, I think Drew thought that was enough to go for Rocky, but Rocky rolled out. Oh, look at this beautiful reversal from Drew! Drew the dashing dragon now. Just... <laughs> Just blocking the onslaught of Wildfire. Now coming up with his own set and hits it with a big DDT. And Rocky coming in from behind and catching the Dashing Dragon out of nowhere. And gets thrown to the corner barricade. And Rocky looking, <laughs> looking to take the advantage, if you will. Then Drew back in the ring. This is probably his shot. I'm not going to lie. This is probably Rocky's opportunity to go for the win here, if you will. Oh, big suplex there. Oh, both men. Oh, again. Looks like looks like Rocky is doing that maneuver. Get out. Into the flames. Is that enough to put Rocky down? Honestly, it probably was, but Drew was able to stop it. Oh, Tristan Flames. Is it enough? One, two, no, Drew gets out of the Tristan Flames. Yeah, no problem. Man, they, they are actually putting on a, like a five-star match right now. Holy shit, they want that first. They want the opportunity first to go for, oh, look at this. Oh, goes in for the five-star frog splash. Is that enough? Well, not five-star frog splash, just frog splash in general. <laughs> Jacob was there. Oh, my God. Now attacking the ribs of Rocky and sends him flying. I don't think Jacob liked almost losing this match here tonight. Oh, misses the big knee shot. Could this be Drew's opportunity? Drew catching him into a stop. GBT. Oh, could this be the shot? Could this be it? Could Drew possibly end this here tonight? He's going to go for it. He's going for the sharpshooter. Oh. Rocky was there to stop it and catches him in a hair around and sends him flying. And Drew is dropped. Oh, look at this. I think Rocky realizes it. Rocky going for another frog splash! Oh, Jacob, is that enough? One, two, Jacob kicks out of the frog splash! <laughs> I think Drew knew about it because he is just walking back in the ring like nothing happened. Oh, gets caught in a big shot there. Oh, Drew catching Jacob though. It's on the back now, it's Drew against Rocky Mercado. Mikado now getting Drew set up and hits him with a big knee to the face. And right now it is all Rocky. Rocky's going to have to... Oh, well, look at this. Jacob is already getting up. And Drew getting out of danger. Oh, oh my God. It looks like both men work together to drop Rocky. Oh, but Drew quickly getting him in a leg sweep. And Rocky wasn't even down from that double team. Oh! Oh, I thought we were going to see another type of pin there. Right now, it's Jacob and Drew. Drew's being sent to the corner. Oh, gets caught into a big shot to the gut. Look at this. Drew's not having it again. Drew dropping Jacob. 
Man, these guys are, they are really, they are really excelling well here in Peakstein. They're giving us a fucking show. <laughs> Holy shit. I actually don't even know who the fuck's going to win. <laughs> it looks like I don't think Drew realized that Jacob was behind him. Now being lifted up. Oh, and tossed over the top rope. Or correction, be tossed onto the top rope. And right now, Rocky is in control. Oh, but Jacob looking to make a comeback here tonight as well. Tossing Rocky. Oh, I, I don't know what happened there. I believe just missed whatever the heck they have planned. But, oh, Drew's coming in with a bat. Oh, Bud gets punished for bringing the bat into the equation. Oh, big DDT right there. And right now it's Drew and Rocky in the middle of the ring. Jacob is out of the equation at the moment. Otis again. The show of disrespect right there. Oh my God, Drew, Drew, Jacob's getting up. If Rocky's going to try ending the match, he's going to have to. But Drew quickly reversing it, ruining the opportunity for Rocky. coming in rocky trying to set up something here oh wait look at this oh oh drew reversing the double team and now catching rocky in a snap suplex the dashing dragon is not gonna it's not gonna get double teamed here tonight oh look at this now dropping him down it is all drew drew looking to just have the full control of this match if you will Again, I got to point out, this is probably to be the best match we've had at PXD so far. <laughs> oh, gets caught face first into the baseball bat. And now, again, just getting punished for bringing it into the equation. Oh, shit. Jacob has a sledgehammer. Man, they, they realized the triple threat match was just going to be... Oh! Right now, I think Jacob was trying to get out of danger, but Rocky quickly catching him. And now Rocky is just taking control. Oh, uh, looking to set it up. Many comments for me due to working on the clips. Nah, you're all good. Ooh, I think Drew was setting something up, but Rocky quickly stopping it. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, big suplex right there! Again, just attacking the legs. I believe he's trying to just set up sharpshooter, but look at this! Drew saying screw, he's going straight for the pin! No! Rocky still kicks out. Jacob just taunting away. Now catches him with a big gut shot! Ooh, big punch there. And Drew, Drew, catching Jacob into... Wait, what's he catching him into? Holy shit. Oh, stopping a face first. Oh, Rocky taking advantage. And look, oh my God, are we about to see it? Are we about to see Light Sheet is still here tonight? Yes, we are. With that, Rocky Ricardo steals the victory here tonight in PXT. <laughs> He lives by the creed of lying, cheat, and steal from the late Granny Ganado. <laughs> Damn. But now with that said, it is time to find out <laughs> where, where Rocky Mercado belongs into. And with this, we see where Rocky Mercado belongs into. He is going into the... Rocky Mercado, you have been placed into the PXT title division. Congratulations to Rocky. Holy fuck, dude. That was... That was phenomenal. <laughs> that was fucking sick. I love the entire match. This was the match of the night. I'm gonna say that right now. This is the match of the fucking night. Oh, uh, that was sick. Well, congratulations to Rocky Mercado to picking up the victory in our first ever title division placement match or triple threat title division placement match. Uh, the other two will not be placed until next week. That's right. Next week, it will be Drew Jeffrey going against Jacob T. Wildfire one on one. Whoever wins will get placed next and then the loser will play placed in the other division. 
In two weeks, we're going to have another PXT Big Show. Our PXT Big Show this month is PXT Abyss. It's going to be our first ever wild card show. Now, that means nobody knows what's going to happen on Abyss. We don't know if it's going to be one on one matches. Two on twos, three on threes, we don't know. And this rule applies to the PXT title matches as well, which means even Drew Jeffrey, Jacob T. Wildfire, or even Rocky Mercado have an opportunity and a chance to possibly be placed into the YouTube title shot or the PXT title shot. For the titles, it could be same thing. It could be one-on-one, -on -one, could be triple threat, could be fatal four-way, hell, it could be a six-man. So with that said, we're gonna be having that on October, I believe, 22nd, 26th, 22nd, if I'm correct. It'll be that Sunday. Now, I do wanna point out that the schedule could change because I am currently looking for work, and if I do find a job, then the schedule will change. It's obvious on that. So just heads up, right now, the set date is that Sunday in two weeks. But now we go on to our next match. Last week, Onyx was demanding a match against Electrode. Uh, Electrode wasn't there that week, so he went against Apco. This week, Electrode did show up, and he honestly was not interested in fighting Onyx tonight. Until Onyx decided to pique Electrode's interest. So, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is Onyx and Electrode here in PXT in an Extreme Rules match. But now, with the rules being thrown out the window, and it's being all go, can Onyx pick up a win against the former Triple Crown Champion? Onyx being the next up-and-coming star in PXT. He's being called the Rook of PXT. And because he, this is his first promotion, his first peak or first wrestling promotion he's ever been a part of, he decided to give us a chance and trust him or trust us with his career, if you will. And so far, he has made an absolute impact. And he was going on to possibly even earn himself a title shot later in the future. But because he decided to bark under the wrong tree and go against the former, a former Triple Crown champion like Electrobe. Watch, I swear, I'm usually not like this in these live streams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find that funny. <laughs> Who's you more chill, I swear. <laughs> hey look, it's a it's a hype day. That triple threat match was hype as hell. <laughs> and then not just that, we're getting close to our tag team division possibly starting up here in PXC2. I think it'd be pretty awesome to start that up. But uh we're gonna give it one more week and uh we can't get like uh, other people involved with PXC. We'll just see what we can do. But as we were saying, Onyx has been sort of picking up his career as much as possible, literally whoa, until he went against Electro and practically kicked his ass. Especially with a new move that actually we've never seen Electro pull out ever. Electro. Now, I can't even say the self-proclaimed Triple Crown Champion, because technically he is a Triple Crown Champion. For people who don't know who Electro is, Electro was in the WWE and somehow, someway, was able to pick up not just the World Heavyweight Championship, he was able to pick up the United States Championship, he was able to pick up the Intercontinental Championship. Somehow the man literally became a Triple Crown Champion. And also, I want to point this out, just breaking character for a bit, that this actually happened. <laughs> he was US Champ, and he became IC Champion. And then he won the Royal Rumble to face, uh, I don't know who the champ was at the time, at WrestleMania. Somehow he won that title. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck he did it, but he is literally a Triple Crown Champion, and I don't know how he did it to this day. So, that is why he is known as the PXT, well not even the PXT Triple Crown Champion, he's known as just the general Triple Crown Champion. He hasn't earned the title of PXT's Triple Crown Champion because we only have two titles. Looks like everyone's excited for this match. I think the Triple Threat match picked up the crowd, and now everyone's excited for this match here tonight. Onyx looking to correct the wrong that happened at Hellfire. But this time, this match is Extreme Rules. 
Soon to be four with the tag division. True. Well, technically no, because we haven't. Because we only have two titles right now. So technically the tag teams would be three. Technically. <laughs> But no, we are looking to probably debut a new title as well. Uh, not just the tag team titles, probably another mid title as well. Uh, debating on it at the moment, but we're looking into it. Oh, look at this. Onyx looking to come in at it. Oh, but like, God damn, did he just fall on the chair to break it out of his hands? God nah, damn. I'll, here's the thing. Electro knows his way around an Extreme Rules match. Just playing around with the Rook. Onyx not appreciating against Electro. Just taking control of it. Looking to probably not even let Onyx get any type of weapons. I think that's what's just happening at this point. Oh, big shot. Right now. Oh, but God damn. His big chops left and right from Electro, but Onyx looking to come in with his own. And now looking to bring this into the ramp, maybe? Or are they looking to go to the ramp? Oh, looks like we're getting close to it. Oh, Electro sees the chair. Oh! <laughs> I think Onyx was daring Electro to do it. Electro did not hesitate at all. Oh, God! And now is he the Triple Crown Champion? Just, I, okay, I don't know how he missed that. Oh! Big hook from Onyx to the Triple Crown Champ. Oh, I should say former Triple Crown Champion. So technically he isn't a champion at the moment. Oh, Onyx looking to just take the advantage too. If he doesn't believe me on being more chill, he could just go to the latest Overwatch Street. It's true. <laughs> Oh, Onyx taking control, sending Electro back into the middle of the ring. Oh, look at this, going for some springboard offense with a springboard clothesline, dropping Electro down. I think Onyx was just taking a moment. Oh, uh, 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 the PXC curse of missing suicide dives continue. <laughs> I don't know how he's alive. He catches Onyx into a, a, I guess a leg sweep DDT? I really don't even know what to call that move. I had to look up that move. Oh, look at this. Was getting caught into danger there. Quickly gets out of it, though. It was very, very awkward at the beginning, though. Nah, no, I hear ya. It happens. We're all awkward at the beginning. Like me doing PXT in general. Yeah, it was pretty, like... Now I'm like, oh! <laughs> oh, right now, Electro's just staying. Again, just having pure control of the match, where it's also because Electro knows his way around an Extreme Rules match. Honestly, if he twisted the other way, holy fuck. <laughs> gang, gang, the still steps. Oh, was looking to go dish out more punishment, but Onyx quickly reversing it. Now getting Electro. Oh, Electro getting out of it, though. Electro is a veteran here in PXT. Well, not veteran in PXT, but just a wrestling veteran in general compared to Onyx. This is Onyx's first promo. Oh, hits! Was that a lightning talent? One, two. Oh, that was that kick he pulled off at Hellfire. He told us it is called the lightning talent. So now he has two talent type of moves. Oh, he catches him again! Just like Hellfire! Just like Hellfire! <laughs> Holy shit! Ladies and gentlemen, we just saw an, literally an absolute repeat of a Hellfire! This is exactly what happened at PXD Hellfire. He got caught in two of those, I guess, lightning talons, if you will. This is a move we haven't seen him do. We just saw him literally do the exact same thing. <laughs> Except that was a false kill anywhere match. Holy shit. Electro, uh, just like, that's, that's already it. I don't think you should do another match. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kick the shit out of Onyx. <laughs> hey, well, like I said, congratulations to Electro on shutting, just shutting the naysay in general at this point, because that's that's already three back to back that he's like put down Onyx. So I think that's just over with in general. But now it's on to our next match, Bew Grip. Holy shit. <laughs> I think Beer Grip right now just literally doesn't know where to go with his career at this point because the whole thing was just fueled with Rodrigo. And because we said that he's no longer going to be facing Rodrigo or just going for the PXT title in general, now he's at the bottom. Lost his opportunity to get the championship uh, last week because our current champion, Bone Tubular, is uh, now in a series of defending his title because of a lot of uh, people in line at this point that uh, either had rematch clauses or had earned title opportunities. This is another rematch clause, but we're not going into that match yet. Right now it's Beel Grip because Beel Grip decided to try to uh, make a name for himself again. And who did he think was a good choice for it? He thought he could face a Lumberjack. That's right! Next it is the Lumberjack versus Bugrip here tonight in PXT. Right now. Mainly because of Abyss. If we have a rivalry, then next thing you know, that's going to be set. Holy shit! Is that in the crowd? <laughs> were, the, <laughs> were the fireworks happening in the crowd there? What the fuck just happened? I gotta admit, that the skin looks fucking awesome. <laughs> the outfit looks sick as hell, I love it. It's not just that, you got the whole like thing on his back too. Dude, it looks fucking awesome. The Lumberjack coming in. God damn, he didn't even realize this. God, he's fucking ripped. Holy shit. Man, screw the Dashing Dragon. I'll go for him. 20 bucks. No, I'm joking. It's all good, but man, I get a feeling. I get a feeling someone else could also be coming to PXT. You could say he's a big dog. Is it Rob Ryler? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm terrible at stuff like this. <laughs> He does. It was between Reptile from Mortal Kombat or Bane. And since I had the Joker and Red Herd, I had to go Bane. No, I got you. Honestly, I think it was a good option. Cause yeah, he looks he looks really fucking good. <laughs> like even coming out of either the comics or heck, even the like old fucking TV show. Also wanna point out, if anybody does want to do this with the characters, make a Halloween uh version of y'all's characters go ahead and use halloween pxc after you like change their attire to look like that you guys can use halloween pxc we'll upload them and we'll put them into pxc for the month of halloween and thanks shane for that shane's the one that came up with the idea of that so heads up there Bugrip grip coming in to probably restart his career if you will reminds me of some stuff i create on SmackDown vs. Raw? Oh, yeah. God, dude, I miss SmackDown vs. Raw. The only reason I say uh, my brother, who's Justin in this show, and Devil, me, are like legends, if you will, because we did that in, uh, what was it? 2006? I think that's how long we've been with the wrestling thing. <laughs> SVR? It's SmackDown vs. Raw. It was uh, those ones. Yeah. <laughs> Beogrip looking to restart his career by doing the old tactic, if you will, of taking on the biggest man and making a statement, if you will. Oh, I have a knock. <laughs> Busy. The fam trying to break down the door. They're not going to. I, did, I refuse. <laughs> Beogrip looking to... Probably find another start in his career because, as we said last week, he did have a PXT title rematch because he was the former champion. He lost the title in a triple threat match. Uh, Bone Tubular was able to steal the victory again. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, Bone was actually able to hold his own against Bugrip in one on one action. And he practically destroyed Bugrip. 
So I think Bugrip's just looking to regain some morale, if you will. But he's he's gonna be facing a mountain. <laughs> oh shit. But Jack, I was very tired out with Shane. Very tired out with Shane. Lumberjack, I used copy paste. No, I got you. Oh! No, honestly, Jack looked pretty good too. Right now, Bugrip just. Bugrip's already taking control. <laughs> God damn. No, I got gotcha. you. Oh, look at this. Bugrip already just taking full on. Man! Okay! I think Bugrip is working out some shit, because God, I, I actually pictured the Lumberjack, like, taking control of this match. Holy shit! I got Bugrip. Bugrip's surprisingly taking full on control of the match against the Giant! Man, it looks like he just wants to inflict pain at this point. He doesn't even care about actually winning the match. I think he just wants to plane up and inflict pain, but he chose the wrong man! Because the Lumberjack now coming back at it with a big boot across the chest, now lifting the former PXC champion and throws him like a plaything! Slight laziness in the Lumberjack. No, nah, honestly, I still think he looks fine. I think he looks great, honestly. Cause he's not wearing the mask, so it makes sense how come he doesn't have the thing on. So yeah, I think he looks great. Oh, and right now the Lumberjacks is taking control. Bugrip coming with a big punch to the face. Now getting a little control back. Going under. Oh, catching the Lumberjack in a death press and now just punching away. Ooh. Bugrip's... That, oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, what an inverted boss of crap? Looks pretty good, man. Yeah, that's what I would say. Like, I honestly... Oh, another big boot from Lumberjack! My God, he just comes in with big boots and now coming in with a big chop. Oh, look, oh, 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 look at this! A Lumberjack coming in with a steal? Looking to steal the win there, but Bugrip was able to get out of it. Bugrip, grip a former PXT champion. Oh, when we first tried doing PXT a couple years back, he was actually... Oh, catches the Lumberjack and a Bugrip! grip Is that enough? No! Oh, he was too close to the ropes. <laughs> I get very self-conscious with the stuff. No, I got you. No, that's me with my wrestlers, too. Because honestly, I think a lot of my guys look bland as fuck. Because, heck, even a... Uh... Whoa! People don't know Devil right now because Devil's like uh, missing. But um, no, I'm like that with Devil. I think Devil's could look better, but eh, <laughs> I had to use what I had. <laughs> that or even um, I think Mox as well. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> The Lumberjack out of nowhere just made, just made him fly and hits a big discus! Holy shit! He made the man fucking fly! Oh, only gets a two count, but holy shit though! Right now, going to get him in a big powerball and drops him! Oh, the Lumberjack was going for a big leg drop, but quickly misses it. Oh, getting caught in a drop kick. Oh, big DDT right there. Now Bugrip is taking control of the Lumberjack. Man, on and look, if you can, I don't know if you guys could see it on the live stream, but the chest and body of Bugrip is all red. Like the damage is being dealt right now from the Lumberjack and it is showing on Bugrip. Coming him down again. Again, Bugle, again, Bugle's just looking to torture somebody at this point. Just to, I guess, make him feel a little bit better of the aftermath of what happened last week. At the stream, though? What after the stream? <laughs> Sorry, I think my chat didn't update because I, I, I don't see what you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, I was looking at the backup one too. The backup one didn't catch it either. 
And right now, the action is happening on the outside. Oh, look at that. Oh! Lumberjack reversing it. Right now, I believe we're at a count of three. On Yes, count of three and turn into four. Lumberjack quickly getting back in the ring. Bugrip grip following suit. See, Devil, they should go to Hellfire, but after the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I agree on that. Yeah, if you guys want to see who we're talking about with Devil, uh, Devil is uh, technically my creative wrestler, but so is Bugrip grip and a good number of the roster. Just as a starting point, I really want to, like, retire a lot of the characters, but I'm probably going to keep three characters of mine in, and that'll probably be it. Oh, look at this. Bugrip grip looking to end the match here. Look, now setting it up. Oh no! The Lumberjack catches him! Big power slam! Oh shit, the Lumberjack going up! Lumberjack going up and going! Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh! Was he going for a stunner? <laughs> was he going for a fucking stunner? And throwing back in. Beer grip now taunting away. I don't know if that's a good idea. Lumberjack throwing Bugle to the ropes and gets caught on a big punch and now gets caught on a big leg drop. I thought we were going to see a pin there, but he quickly gets up. Because he was going for the stunner gun. He was ready to fuck him up. <laughs> Bugle now just punching away and again just taking control of the match, if you will. And he catches him in a big clothesline. I gotta give props though, this match is actually a little bit more back and forth than I was expecting. The beginning was not, but the Lumberjack is holding his own against the former PXT champion. Oh, gets him up. Oh! I'm gonna call that an angle slam, because that's what the fuck it is. He caught him in an angle slam. <laughs> oh, Lumberjack's not taking it. Oh, both men were showing that they can handle each other. Oh! The Lumberjack though drops! Beer grip down, only gets a one count though. Lumberjack stalking Beer Grip. Oh, but Beer Grip reversing the maneuver. Looking to get out of danger, possibly. Oh, look at this. Beer Grip catching the Lumberjack into a belly to belly suplex. And now, Beer Grip going to the top rope. What's he gonna go for here? He's going for an elbow dive, but quickly misses. And now the Lumberjack has him up. Oh, misses. I believe missed the maneuver. I don't know. It sounded like they made contact, but nothing happened. And the crowd's asking for it one more time. Oh, misses the clothesline. Buckets again, tossed around like nothing by the Lumberjack. One, two. Beer Grip still kicks out. My God, you gotta, you gotta command Beer Grip. He's still trying to show why he was a PXC champion here. I think his first hit, his fist hit him? Maybe, that's probably what happened. He probably grazed him. Oh, the elbow! Oh, there it is now, another big punch! Oh my God, the Lumberjack just manhandling Beer Grip up and again, tossing him like he's nothing! One with a glowing glove. Yeah, possibly. Oh, oh! And now I think Beer Grip's looking to end the match here tonight with a Beer Grip! Is that enough? Here we go! Is that enough to put down the Lumberjack? No! He still kicks out! And the crowd right now is saying that we're not worthy. The crowd is 100% loving this match. Loving how far the Lumberjack is willing to go to try putting away a former Pixie champion. But that was a big splash. Oh, look at this. The Lumberjack thinking, thinking smart, surprisingly, and rolls out of the ring. We have many matches of the night. We actually, surprisingly, it's the normal number, but they're actually lasting a lot longer than normal. Oh, another big punch right now. Looks like the Lumberjack is catching him again, just dropping Bugrip down. Yeah, honestly, we have the same number of matches tonight. It's just literally everybody wants to go full ham tonight for some reason. I think they heard last week that every match matters, especially because there's a chance they could get a title opportunity. So I think that's what's really feeling this at this point. 
Damaging the arm again. Beelgrip taking control of the match. Here's the thing though, the Lumberjack knows how to come back at it too. Oh, big gut shot. Another big gut shot. And comes in with a clothesline. Lois Satoshi that debuts this and the Extreme Rules match. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, oh, he's. I think he has to go to the extreme here. And he goes in with a punt to put down the Lumberjack, but his long legs save him. Oh, Beogrim's getting pissed. He's trying to choke the life out of the Lumberjack. He's getting pissed. Beogrim had to result into that punt that we rarely see him go to. We've only seen him do it once to Rodrigo, so it, that means something if he has to use it against the Lumberjack. Oh god, the big punch didn't mean shit to Beogrim. And the Lumberjack now punishing the former PXC champion. Again, gets him up and drops him down. My God, Bugrip just trying to show some fighting spirit, but still gets caught into the big discus. Is that enough to end this? Oh my God, dude, Bugrip's fucking arm. <laughs> He's out. He has to be one, two, three. With that, the Lumberjack puts down the former PXT champion. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. And with that, the Lumberjack gets another victory added onto his record. And right now, with this victory, the Lumberjack is at a 50-50 win rate. Holy shit, though. That was a fucking match. Good match, but just as good. Now we go on to our main event of the night. Rodrigo was our inaugural PXC champion, but when he lost the title, he never got a one-on-one -on -one, uh, rematch clause match. So because of this, we decided to give it to him now. That is right. So tonight, it is Rodrigo against Bone Tubular for the PXC championship. Ding, ding, ding. This match is for one fall and is for the PXT Championship. Now, I'll be honest with y'all, guys. I'm in the ring, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to fucking... Is the transmission out? <laughs> I don't know why he does that. Rodrigo coming in to PXT, looking to reclaim the PXT Championship match. Spinning bars, that's what he's doing. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, the instant transmission thing? <laughs> he spits bars so much to where the instant transmission's out? What do you mean? <laughs> that's crazy. Rodrigo looking to reclaim the PXT Championship match. Or championship. I want to point out here, if Rodrigo wins here tonight, <clears throat> if Rodrigo actually wins here tonight, he will be the first ever two-time PXT champion. Now, Rodrigo did show <laughs> exceptionally well strength against Adonis, but against someone like Bone Tubular, he, he's sort of like Beal Grip as well. Maltman can show outstanding power but the thing is with bone tubular he is such a high fly high speed high flyer to where it's almost impossible to catch up with him and Rodrigo and Beogrip love playing the whole like pace game when it comes to punishment in a match so that's where this really depends on what's gonna happen with Rodrigo is he gonna be full on out or is he gonna probably try taking his pace I think he should go full on out if he goes full on out he will probably never even give an opportunity for Bone Tubular to take off. Rodrigo looks ready for his opponent here tonight. Bone Tubular, one of the very fit. 
very first PXC Originals. In other words, PXC characters that are not created by me. He is the first ever PXC Original to hold the PXC Championship. He won it in a triple threat match between him, Rodrigo, and Bugrim. And so far, he has been <laughs> just a played up fighting champion. Ever since he won the title, he has practically been on a full-on winning streak. Now, I will admit this, it is a little messed up that he has to defend the title throughout the entire month of PXC, but because of literally back-to-back, non-stop people just arguing about it and saying, oh, they didn't get their one-on-ones, da 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 all that crap, we decided to say, shut them up and actually have Bone 2 Wheeler defend the titles. But he also is A-OK -okay with it too, because he wants to prove to everybody and there is no curse on the PXC Championship. Pretty much the curse was whoever held it for the first month would lose all their matches. But Bone is proving that wrong. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Bone is the OG. Yes, Shane. Yes, Shane, Jake, and Bone are the th three OGs, but Bone is the OG OG. That's true. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Rodrigo! And his opponent, he is the PXT Champion! Bone Tubular! No, but you are true. Technically, Bone is the first uh, OG of PXC, along with Jake and Shane. So actually, it is pretty deserving that Bone is here in PXC and is actually deserving of him being PXC champion. But now the question is, can he successfully defend the PXC champion against the Blue Menace, Rodrigo? Rodrigo was our inaugural PXC champion. Can he become the first ever two-time PXT champion. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Blue Menace going against the high-speed, high-flyer. Oh, looks like Rodrigo's already coming in. Pure strength. He's coming in with already dropping him on his knee first. And again, Rodrigo's just showing nothing but pure dominance. My God, Rodrigo. Rodrigo's already coming in full force. Just like I said, he has to do. He can't go at a steady pace like he normally does. Goes in with a body slam. Right now, Rodrigo is taking full-on control of the match. Which is a good idea, because you don't want let Bone get the advantage or get started. Because if you do, then he will possibly be so fast where he can't catch up. And again, it looks like this. Look at Rodrigo again, just showing nothing but pure power. This is how Rodrigo normally wrestles. This is how he normally fights in PXT. My God, right now it's been all Rodrigo. Rodrigo going under, now going over. And comes in with a big elbow to the face of Bone. Bone right now is struggling to get started, but it's because Rodrigo's coming in full on force. Yes, he's fast, but Shane and Jake have figured out how to slow him down and win. True, maybe Rodrigo took some notes on those past matches because right now Bone's having a tough time taking off. There it is, now Bone coming in with the one-legged drop kick. Bone possibly believing that he, since he took out Bugrip, that Rodrigo was probably gonna be no biggie. But here's the thing, Rodrigo is a former PXC champion and he won it out of pure dominance. Oh, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're about to see Lava Lanch. Holy shit, uh, he already has Bone down. Oh no, Bone still has some life in him. Holy crap. Well, Dream Man, goddamn, Rodrigo actually is going full force in it. But Bone still trying to come back. It comes in with a sunset flip power bomb to the Blue Menace. Think Bone. <laughs> Bone questioning what he needs to do. <laughs> I think he thought it was gonna be a lot easier, but he didn't expect that. <laughs> he didn't expect Rodrigo coming in full on ferocity. Oh. 
Hey, Rodrigo's looking to go in with that spear. Oh my God. No way. That can't be it. No. Bone quickly kicks out, but Rodrigo already hitting him with the big spear. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is back to like Brock Lesnar at this point, dude. He's just full on controlling the match. Bone is really struggling taking off in this match. And oh, beautiful reversal from Bone. Could this be Bone's opportunity to make a comeback here tonight? I think Bone's realizing it too. I think Bone is realizing this could be his only opportunity to do some damage to the Blue Menace. Oh, kicks up back of Rodrigo. Oh, look at this. We're about to see Bone Crusher. Is that enough to put down the Blue Menace of PXC? Two. No. Rodrigo kicks out. Correction, Skull Crusher. <laughs> I called it Bone Crusher. It's Skull Crusher. Always going in for a big drop kick on the back of the head of Rodrigo. Rodrigo gets out of danger. Oh, and hits him with a big boot to the face of the PXC champion. Oh, Bone. Bone gaining the advantage now. Thank you, Rodrigo, to the ropes. And comes in with a... Oh, Barn Drag. Can Bone successfully defend his title against the Blue Menace of PXC? Right now showing great offense against him. He's trying to make the match not so one-sided anymore. Catches him with a quick DDT. I think Rodrigo didn't, didn't expect him to get up out of the spear. And now is actually being punished for it. Good maneuver there. Actually, if he damages the leg of Rodrigo, that could open the opportunity of Rodrigo just not having any power for any of his moves, actually. But now Rodrigo looking to claim back the momentum of the match. Hitting him up. Dropping it down and now just working on the arms. But again, showing a little bit of frustration. He is showing some frustration here tonight. Something very big for me to do. The other creators, like Jake and Bones creators, constantly make updates to their movesets. Is that just me? Uh, right now it is just you, but I honestly like that because uh, it does make the characters feel alive. Uh, Bone and Jake, they actually haven't really made any adjustments or made any contact with me to make adjustments yet. Yet. Oh, gets caught with a big clothesline. And right now, Rodrigo. Rodrigo setting up for a big... Oh! It's going in for something big, but Bone quickly reversing it. Now Bone looking to rally here! Bone's looking to make a comeback! Three Bone's only chance going for the pin against the Blue Menace. Is that enough to put him down? One! Two! No! Rodrigo kicks out. Oh, look at this. We're going to see the Skull Crusher. Is that enough? Is it enough to put it down? One, two, no. Rodrigo kicks out of the Skull Crusher. We, we might have to see a third Skull Crusher. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh no, that's not good. That is not good. That is not good. The referee's down. Everything's legal. <laughs> the referee is down. Everything's legal. Oh, no. Still going in. Uh, well, yep, the curse. That curse continues. <laughs> the missing of suicide dives. <laughs> oh, but look at this. Bone still, still going. Bone is still going. Though he didn't start off fast at the beginning of the match, he's starting to take off now because now Rodrigo is having trouble stopping him. Oh, attacks the arm. Stomps the head right now. Bone showing pure dominance. Showing pure control of the match and hits! Pure with a big drop kick to the skull when he was down, I want to point out. Oh, what's the... Oh, is Bone? No, there's no way. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I thought Bone was going to take the easy way out with a count-out victory. Now, no, this actually does help Bone. 
because Rodrigo has to pin Bone. Outside, count out. Oh, God, on the steel part of the ramp. Could this be what Bone is thinking? Is Bone thinking that he can't actually one, two, three Rodrigo? <laughs> like, is he thinking he can't pin the man? Oh! Rodrigo, Rodrigo needs to get him back in the ring. We are now at the halfway mark of the count. And right now we're at a six count. Rodrigo needs to get Bone into the ring. We're at a seven count. There is no way he's going to accept this. We got a count of eight. Is he actually going to accept this? There is no way Rodrigo's going to accept the count out victory. Did, did we actually just see this? <laughs> Are we actually see? Wow. Wow. Wait, so what the fuck does this mean? Wait, so... <laughs> what? What does this mean? Why did he do What? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I'm genuinely confused. He wasn't pinned so he didn't get the title. No, he didn't. That's why I'm genuinely confused. What is going on? Man, that's a way to end the fucking night though. <laughs> what the fuck? Bill Grip could have made history here tonight on becoming the first ever PXT, two-time PXT champion. And he goes with a count-out victory? Okay, hold on. He has something fucking planned. This motherfucker has something planned. He's playing some fucking mind games. There's no fucking way, man. There's no fucking way. He's playing mind games with me. He didn't even tell me shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I legit don't even know. I do not know how to describe this. We just saw an actual, like, what the fuck moment here on PXT. Rodrigo was the next man in line for the PXT Championship, and instead of going for possibly the obvious win, because he could have got him back in and hit the actual, like, spear, and possibly became a two-time PXT Champion, instead of that, he went for the ring out victory. This is so strange. Next week, next week we're gonna have a double feature title match. Pretty much, it will be Jake Lawler going against the White Viper C, uh, White Viper C Jill, for the PXC YouTube Championship. Then after that, we will be having Bone Tubular defending the PXC Championship against Carlo Mendez for the main event. So, with that said. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still flabbergasted on what just happened. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, whether it was live recording either or if you guys did watch the recording, uh, like, subscribe, share this video with all you guys' friends you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time for live stream. Peace out, take care, have a great night. I'm out. I've been Cyber Hunter. This has been PXT. Howdy! Ah. Make all the demons quiet. We will take over the drive. I think that we've all had enough. Keeps you up at night.